Hey everyone and welcome back. My name is D Free and for today's video on Marvel Snap, we are playing a Spider-Man themed deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content as well as click that notification bell so you don't miss anything we upload here on the channel. If you guys did not see my beginner guide or my Spider-Man Miles uh, move deck, you guys can check those out via the link down below in the description. And if I forget, please post in the comments uh, and I'll, I'll add that if I forget to add that. So that being said, can I just say this art here is so awesome uh i'm excited to finally be, be making videos the game's been out um in certain regions for a few months now and i'm excited that you guys are going to get to play it in a more global audience so that being said let's go ahead and take a look at the deck so this first and foremost is not <laughs> not the finished product uh but i wanted to kind of just kind of uh explain to you guys a few things first and foremost this is not a competitive deck we might play some good matches that are competitive, but this is not a competitive deck. Do not take this deck into PvP and expect to win mo very often or most of your matches. Uh, it's literally, literally going to be a Spider-Man deck. I am going to go ahead and tweak the deck a good bit and move on from there. Uh, so Spider-Man is a good card, but you'll find that a lot of these cards, um, they don't really have like any sort of tags. It would be cool if this game had like Spider, Spider-Man comic tag or, you know, I did an Asgardian video. I never really released it, but I need to. Um, but like Asgardian tags and things like that would, that would give cohesion to characters from the same series, like Spider-Man series characters having cohesion. Uh, maybe they gain an extra power or something like that just to let them work together but as it is there's not really that also i'll say there are characters that are not uh, uh available to me that i don't have like venom i don't have venom he wouldn't really do much for me anyway to be honest but you know a lot of these cards have their own specific archetypes uh or there are characters as well that are cards excuse me that i don't have that have connections to spider-man or debuted in the spider-man comic or you know have been a lot in spider-man just in general like kingpin uh things like that but i want to say that the one that i'm missing that i really really wanted to have was Doc Ock. He is really, really powerful, but I, I believe there's going to be a system that allows you to pick cards eventually. If there isn't, that's really unfortunate because it's really random what cards you get. But we're this is uh, just the general look at it. We've got Scorpion, Lizard, Mysterio. We had Carnage back here as well. Ignore Nightcrawler. Uh, we had these guys here. Mysterio is fun because he puts those illusions out there. I need to know about that. I need to test out the uh, the the synergy with with carnage i wonder if carnage or venom can destroy those illusions uh i don't know so the goblins so let me say this the goblins are the best and most relevant uh meta relevant cards in my entire deck they're really good electro is solid too but he's really niche because of his uh limitation with the ongoing ability we have rhino who has a, a good tech ability to where he can destroy cards like i said spider-man's a good card uh because what he does is he disrupts the opponent for the next turn as you see i've had this win me a lot of games in a lot of different decks by playing him and, and them not being able to play a card there he's also really good with magic i like to drop magic first and then next turn play spider-man and I, <laughs> it's really crazy also i had one match like that where i played magic and they locked down a zone already with storm and like it was really crazy they couldn't play anything basically <laughs> so yeah miles like i said i have a separate video for him in a move deck uh the funny thing is he's probably he's a weird card he's a tech card as well that you just tech into other decks and he's good versus decks that move he's also really good with locations that move and stuff like that um <clears throat> You know, it, it's just kind of weird because the move deck, he's like really hit or miss in it. The funny thing is they themselves tweeted out, oh, hey, run Miles in your in your move deck or something like that. And it's just like, eh, you know, Miles was kind of a weird card. But a lot of the Battle Pass cards they put out have been kind of weird. Like Nick Fury is kind of whatever. I never really I never really saw the appeal. I have him, but I never saw the appeal. Uh, I like Wave. I like Daredevil. Oh, my da Daredevil's pretty fun. His, his, his mechanics really interesting. So here's a, a more cleaned up version. We included Cloak, uh, which, you know, Cloak and Dagger have some loose affiliation, I guess. But nonetheless, though, I included Cloak and, and Nightcrawler was here as well. Just so uh, I had some utility with movement. And what I mean by that is Miles, you know, his cost going down, very helpful. And Vulture. So if I can move Vulture via Cloak or an effect, plus five is a lot of power to pick up, especially in my deck with it not having uh, a lot of power overall. So really when it comes down, oh, and I'm using my variant Spider-Man. Shout out to the Symbiote Spider-Man variant. That one costs 1,200 gold. I saw it. I was like, oh, okay. I would love that, but I don't have 1,200. And because I accidentally, I accidentally purchased something, by the way. And I just, I wasn't even, I didn't even click the buy button. It wasn't even visible on my screen. It was a, it was a glitch. 
the buy button wasn't even there and I was trying to click out because if you click anywhere it takes you out and I accidentally pressed buy and they refused to refund that it was a Yandu variant that I did not want for 700 by the way um but yeah so we changed the deck a bit and we included other cards just to try to make it a little bit more cohesive so I, I dropped Carnage um I don't think Vulture was in that other one that you guys saw just a second ago the first one but nonetheless oh this is a fun hand uh here we go guys I hope you guys enjoy <clears throat> uh cards here are not revealed until the game ends i don't need that right now that is nothing for me my hand doesn't like that however i also don't want to play the thing about that is that if i play nightcrawler there i can't move him when i need to i'll play i'll play nightcrawler here so nightcrawler has utility because like i said he could oh we're playing against the move deck so miles would be able to move whenever that's funny i was gonna say like he's really good because i could just move <sighs> great rocks I could just move him and then get Miles' effect whenever I want to. Um, like, if I had Kazar in my deck, I wouldn't be so upset about the the rocks, but they just do nothing. Like, they just, they're done. Okay, so Forge is moving. That means Miles is going to get his Spider Sense, and there you see. He goes down to one, so thank you for the free uh, drop. On turn five, cards cost one more. Ooh, I drew Cloak, too. Oh, this is such a good hand. This is I love this hand. I think I'm gonna Rhino though. <sighs> My question is, do I Rhino the Dark Dimension or the Dream Dimension? Mm. Also, I need to drop Vulture if I'm gonna play Cloak. It's still a turn too early to do that. The only reason Cloak is in the deck is for Miles and Vulture. I'm gonna end here. I really wish Sunspot was out there to take advantage of that energy. Okay, so I need to play him now. And I'll just... <laughs> I guess. I mean, they do nothing. I don't have any way to buff them. But maybe it deters, like, a a card play. Oh, that's fun. Okay. <laughs> so now we're going to go ahead and just drop him there. I'll call it a day. We're going to play Goblin turn six. Oh, a Vulture. <laughs> I've never seen that ult. Nice. All right, we're going to we're going to move him there. He probably does the same play by the way. Hmm. Miles. Do I need to Is the right play to play just Lizard and try to go wide? Cuz I could play Rhino and Lizard or just Goblin. It's a shame that Nightcrawler is not strong enough to win on his own. Hmm. I will drop my goblin there because he's moving that vulture. It doesn't look like we're really versus a move deck. I don't really know what's happening here. We'll just find out, man. It might have been better to go wide, though, with, with Rhino and Lizard. This was a good hand, but unfortunately, I didn't I didn't get them in the right order. Okay, so I know that goblin can go. He moved vulture as expected. He's losing two spots already. All right, that's a GG. <clears throat> Doesn't matter what he plays here. I've won this match. <laughs> yeah, he. So we're versus a move deck, but he got all his cards really late. Naki is whatever, but uh, getting getting Craven and Human Torch, playing them that late. Oh my god, that sucks. They're really good cards, but man, that sucks having to play them that late. All right, let's play again. We'll see if we can play Spidey in this one. All right, we got spider woman hmm on turn six you can move cards there oh that's a good one really really good so that means i don't have to play cloak unfortunately though if i don't get nightcrawler speak of the devil <laughs> i'll just say if i don't get nightcrawler we're gonna be playing miles if we get him with with uh the four cost which he's not great at the four cost he's only good as a one one cost card all right let's go for oh i love psylocke I have a deck that I like to use with Psylocke and Electro and Sunspot. It's it's probably a more uh, you know commonly seen deck, but I like that deck a lot. I mean, to be honest, Cloak isn't bad as a beat stick. <laughs> uh, I'll actually drop Vulture here. He'll get that power, and he'll get another power with New York. Oh, that's that's really really good. Nakia here early, and like the last guy, he basically he just got the power back, right? Okay, she gives plus two, so he got he got a, a bonus of one. Um, 
Is it right to play Electro here? Doesn't matter what I do. I just I just have to play cards. Electro is very high risk, high reward. Let's do it. Jubilee. Oh, what is he getting here? Mr. Negative? Are you kidding me? That's an incredible pull. That's an incredible pull. When did his power get minus one? What the hell? Did they, did they well, nerf him? Wow, that sucks. All right, let's go ahead and play Spider Woman. I really want to play. Ooh, the lightning effect. Oh, that's Electro. I really want to play Spidey, though. Spidey, though. You know what, actually? We'll do that. We will do that. Yeah, so Naki is going to be forced to stay there. Okay, so he he's, pre he's pretty much lost. He's lost. Like, I don't even need to move. But we will. Like, there's no way he can beat this. Spider-Man shut down that whole zone, and he went all in on the left. Yeah, gotcha. I thought so. That's unfortunate. GG, man. And that's why I said Spider-Man is really powerful. He's really, really powerful. Um, his utility is crazy. If he can, he just shuts down the zone. So I barely won this, by the way. His Nakia got a boost. Hello. I barely won that because we we tied uh, on that zone. I didn't even realize that that was gonna happen. That Ironheart almost stole that match. Um, would it have been possible? I guess if he got a bigger boost elsewhere. Anyways, whatever we won. Um. So that's kind of what I was talking about. Like Spider-Man shutting down a zone is crazy. The issue with him, though, is that as you saw, he's he's kind of weak. But Electro is just I don't think I'll play Electro again because I don't I don't I don't think I'll need him. I don't think I'm going to find a single scenario where I need Electro. Oh, cards cost one less. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Electro is a cute card to have, but I just don't I, don't I don't think I'll find another scenario where I need him. This deck doesn't have a six drop, though. I would really much like to have Doc Ock. Oh, Daredevil. Okay, well, that's cute. On reveal effects happen twice. That's a really good spot to drop. Uh, Wait, what? Would this, would that make him come back to me if I played him in the center? <laughs> I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> I was going to say that's a really good spot for Spider Woman. <laughs> I'm not going to try. I really want to know. <laughs> it, it, the way it reads oh that's a really early play that's really early to try to win this zone well he's forcing my hand here he's going to force me to play something there now if I knew he would do that I would have dropped the goblin there <laughs> ongoing effects are doubled this was a really crazy match wait but if I just drop cloak here I should have utility later I should be able to move, shouldn't I? Let's find out. This is a really big test because I could have just played Vulture there and I don't think he's passing seven. Let's find out. Oh, he's letting me win this spot. Great. He's okay. So wave. Okay. So wave makes all your cards four or for both players, which is really good and really bad depending on what the situation is. However, with the cost down from Elysium, they're all three. That's really funny. I can do this. That's really good to know. But do I need to? I, I've won that spot. I've just I've just won that spot already. So I can lock down a zone for turn five. No, I want to wait one more turn to see what happens. So for now, though, since he played wave, I can drop Spider Woman here. And I hope he plays cards there with Daredevil. Spider-Man might not be really relevant in this match because uh, a zone is already flooded. Oh, he's moving because my cloak. That's cute. I didn't expect that. I wish I thought about that. 
Uh, that's unfortunate. I did not consider that that would happen. I could have and should have moved my vulture. I did not consider that that would happen. Good play, man. Really good play. I did. I just did not consider that. <clears throat> so he'll see what I'm doing. Uh, I wonder if you could stall Daredevil. Like if I wait till the end of the timer, if that if that impacts, that's really scummy. But I wonder if that would impact it. Because the way Daredevil plays, like it just kind of pops in. You see the card really quick and then it lets you go. I don't know. Um, But I don't know what I want to do here. I could play two Spider-Men though. I'll just lock this zone and I'll play some big cards here and I could play you for free see like it lets them it lets them see and they can check all your cards I don't know if the time limit resets though I need it because if it doesn't that really sucks I think it does reset I need to check it next time I use them but nobody I've never played anybody that's done that to me oh Magneto interesting card to have in his deck I'm really upset about my vulture. I didn't even consider that my cloak. I just did not even think about the fact that my cloak would let him move as well. I should have brought my vulture over. The good news is he moved sunspot and he can't play anything. Okay, so this should be a win. Like I, I, I can't see. I'm not gonna play this because well, no, I can, I can move. But he'll just probably play something anyway, though. There's no point. It's unfortunate I drew this here because if he plays something big enough, he wins. We'll find out. Odin. Wait, would that? God dang it! <laughs> Freaking goblin! <laughs> oh, so I guess we got the answer to my question earlier. I guess we got the answer to my question earlier. Ah, God. Okay. About the goblin moving back and forth. Ah, the Odin! Pa oh my God. Like, if he plays largely anything else, I think I win with that scenario, no? I think I do. It doesn't help that that lizard just got weaker. That's unfortunate. That vulture play, I mm, that lost me the game. That single misplay lost. Well, well, he had Sunspot there, right? So Sunspot was also con able to continue to get stronger. Um, But that vulture play, I really regret it. Cards cost one. Cards that cost one can't be played there. Okay. Yeah, so like I said, not a very competitive deck, but hopefully I don't make any more misplays. Can't play cards after turn four there, okay, whatever. I'll drop Lizard. So Lizard is really good, but also, um, obviously he gets debuffed. But what I will say is I think Lizard's interesting uh, playstyle-wise, because he makes people feel like they need to just weaken him. No cards are revealed this turn. I'm gonna play Vulture and Cloak in the next couple of turns. Interesting, he's not playing anything else, huh? Do I play Spidey this turn? The thing about playing Spidey early is I know for a fact I could drop Hobgoblin. Okay, let's deviate from my normal strategy. Let's play Spidey early. He's gonna play something to kill him, I think, because he hasn't played anything there yet. He might be playing one of those decks that just blows up in the last few turns by playing stuff like Infinot. He didn't play anything there, huh? Okay. Friendly neighborhood Spider -Man here. So I know for a fact I can drop my Hobgoblin in Lemuria here. That's a nice advantage. Not, minus eight is a lot, dude. <laughs> Okay, he's playing a destroy deck, I see. Looks like he got his cards kind of late, though. It's going to be really hard for him to overcome that minus eight plus three I have. Uh, I mean, so I don't really have options here. I just have to play as strong as monsters as possible. Actually, you know what? I think I just win. I think I, ju I, think I do just win. Oh, so yeah. Okay, he realized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I th once again, Spider-Man won the game for me. Also, what, what won the game for me also, aside from that, can I react to my own? <laughs> what won the game for me, uh, aside from that, was the fact he didn't play anything for a couple turns. He must have bricked. Um, but not only that, the fact he didn't play anything in the center. 
that zone got shut down. So, like, unless you can move something there, it's really hard to, to do anything with that. Or if you have a card like Mr. Fantastic, you know, it's, it's... But otherwise, it's just really hard to do anything. We're playing a discard deck. Okay. Oh, wow. He picked up the swarm. That's really good. Discard is really powerful. When you play a card here, destroy it. Oh, that's fun. Wait, no, but I can destroy that. So we finally have utility for Rhino. We finally have a reason to use Rhino. Okay, Morbius. Yeah, he's he picked up all the good stuff early. So he's gonna play a couple more cards to screw up Lizard later. Both players draw from the opponent's deck. Really? This completely ruins my strategy. Not my strategy, my video. Ironically, I got the three like spider people in my hand though. <laughs> so let's see how he plays with the Spider-Man deck. <laughs> I hate this. This is dumb. Um, I'm going to play. Oh, I wonder what he'll play this turn. What's the right move? Cause I could play something here. But I get three. Okay, three is too much. I can't take that chance. I wish I had Rhino to destroy Weird World. There's nothing else in my deck like Scarlet Witch or Magic. Wow! I should have did it on the left. Well, the good news is I know he can't play anything else. Thanks, Scorpion. Yeah, he can move Nightcrawler out though. Like his cards are useless to me. Like I don't, I don't play this archetype, so I can't do anything with them. He'll play something on the... Yep, there it is. <laughs> he played my Electro. <laughs> There's nothing in my deck that Electro really benefits from, so whatever. So I've won one zone. He has Chavez in his deck? <laughs> you know what? Chavez wins me the game. Chavez wins me the game. Ironically, and since he moved with Nightcrawler, I could play Miles. But Chavez just wins the game. Chavez is an interesting tech card to have in your deck as that you draw on the last... Oh, Hobgoblin? Okay. Um, as you draw on the last turn type of card. I guess it makes sense. He's got the Chavez icon. Because she auto draws on turn six, right? She's an interesting card. I've, I've lost her a lot. I've won with her a lot. I don't really use her that much anymore. I haven't used her in months, probably. But... She's definitely an interesting card to include. So that was nice. <laughs> we got our deck reversed. Add a random card to each player's hand. Debris is useless to me. Uh, I'll just play Nightcrawler, call it a day. So far, every match we've won in this video, though, Spider-Man has been integral to that win. So you can just see how useful he is as a card. When you play a card here, add a copy to another location. Oh, that's... Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. This, however, however, I will say... I don't have anything else to play here, so I don't really mind it. However, I will say that, uh, oh, Bucky, I like that. What is it, pixel art? I will say that the lizards, um, that might not be great, you know? Oh my God, two Electros would be so awesome in any other deck. <laughs> you know what? Just for the hell of it, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see if the plus two makes a huge difference. Because I could play Spider Women early in the in the more in the middle, in the Sinister London, and have it have it clone her. Oh, that could be interesting. But I was gonna say like a, the lizards are just gonna get weak, right? That's my point. Like this one's already about to lose its power. I hope he plays something there next turn. Could minus two, but he got two demons off that. Oh, and another car Carnage. Go to the right, please. Don't go to the left. Yeah, thank you. That was the best case scenario. It ruined this location, however, not before I got my effect off. However, that doesn't that means that I won't get two spider women, unfortunately. This is where Sunspot will be useful, because he's paralyzing my hand. I can't play anything here, but I have extra energy. However, I can play I can play these these uh, strong cards a turn sooner. I'll drop Spider-Man next turn and see what location benefits the most. Uh, oh, the Carnage still got the power. Wow, if it had went over to this side and destroyed two more cards, that would have been crazy good. He got really unlucky. It would have stacked the power. And he would have got another Bucky. He got crazy unlucky plays there. Oh, 
Okay. Add a rock to each other location for both players, huh? Debris actually might not be useless. Debris might actually be pretty good for me. <laughs> Ironically, she might actually be pretty good. Well, she might have been earlier, like this turn. There's no point in playing her turn six, but she might have been earlier. Okay, so this zone's locked. I've won that zone. Oh, that demon is so strong. I don't think I can win the center. I don't think I can win the center. If I had played Spider Woman now, that would be different. I don't think I have a way to win the center. Because I'm at minus two already. And Lizard's going to go down again. He's won this game. I can't. I can't do anything. I've got all this energy and I can't do anything with it. If I had another big card to play, I'd be okay here. But I just don't. Like, like a Chavez, <laughs> ironically. If I had any other big card to play, I'd be okay. I'll just I'll do the best I can here. But he's going to drop something, you know, above two power and I'll just lose. Yeah, like I said, Typhoid Mary. That's cute. Yeah, I don't, I didn't have anything, unfortunately. I, sh I wish I locked that zone down, but to be fair, uh, your other cards have minus one power, whatever. That doesn't matter. He already had such a big bonus. Um, <clears throat> to be fair, like that was going to happen regardless. He just, that's why he snapped early because he realized he was going to win. I shouldn't have did this, but it was really fun conceptually <laughs> to drop the electros. <laughs> All right, this will be our last one. Hopefully we can end on a good note. Hopefully we can end on a good note. What, by the way, also Spider Woman. I think she got buffed not that long ago because her power and stuff looks really different than it was. Wasn't she like a, a six cost card? She was either four or six cost, I think. But she's changed. She's been adjusted. Okay, on Electro. Joke's on you. I wasn't going to play in this duel. After turn three, transform all cards there to Hulks. That's cute. If you only have one. Oh, so we have Atlantis there. Okay, Nightcrawler. Yeah, we know. We know how this goes. Try to get as many hulks as you can, unless I destroy it with Rhino. He's going to play another card there, and it's going to get popped. Oh, Goblin on, on Necrotia is really powerful. Play something else here, please. Please do it. Please do it. Please do it. Ah, okay. Oh, wow. He's assuming he's winning Gamma Lab. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. This card doesn't actually, it, it, it says your opponent gains control, but it doesn't actually count as a move. Otherwise, Sp Spider-Man Miles would have more utility. This should count as a move. I'm giving up flooding, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Ooh, I don't appreciate Scorpion. I think he'll be inclined to play something here. I'm going to lock this zone down with Spidey. And hope he's trying to... Damn it! Damn! However... However... My card costs are way too high. I if I had a one drop in my hand, I'd be fine here. I could. St I the reason I'm saying that is because I was thinking about playing. I think I might just win now, though. I was thinking about playing uh, Hobgoblin. We'll see if I still win. Cards there are going to be at minus two, so Cloak's getting weaker. But as long as I drop something to gain power. Actually, no. Well, we'll see, I guess. But I really wanted to play Hob. Okay, awesome. We got it. Oof. That was an interesting duel. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have gave up the center. I didn't think he would drop another one cost card, basically. That, that was not at all what I expected. I'm just happy. We played like five duels. I think we won three of them. I'm happy we've technically won more than we lost. 
So if you guys enjoyed this Spider-Man deck, uh, check it out. But like I said, this is not these cards. Uh, some of them are good, uh, you know, in this deck or whatever, but they're mainly meant to be used uh, elsewhere. Like I said, there's no cohesion, really. The goblins, as you saw in this duel or this video, are really powerful. They can be in, be in any deck. Miles is in a deck with movement most of the time, but he could be used with, you know, any card that moves or any location that moves or if you're versus an opponent that, that moves. I just don't think Miles, he's, he's just whatever. Uh, but Spidey, his power is low, but that effect is really crazy on a turn five play. Uh, if you, unfortunately, like, it depends. It, it's unpredictable, right? Um... You know what, though? I... Hmm. I want to make a Spider-Man Daredevil deck. Because him with Daredevil seems crazy. Because <laughs> you can see where they're playing. Him with Daredevil sounds crazy. I'm doing that. That's going to probably be my next video. Um, But yeah. Uh, shout out to Electro. He's good. He's just not good in my deck. All right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one.